Well, hi there, everybody, and welcome to my podcast, Love Letters to Pam. Or maybe you're watching via our YouTube channel, Traveling with Jack and Pam. And of course, I'm your host, Jack. You may hear a little extraneous noise off in the distance. Maybe hear a dog barking, something like that, a plane going overhead. Well, I'm outdoors doing this particular program. Of course, if you're watching on YouTube, you're saying, well, we can see that. But if you're listening on the podcast, maybe not so obvious. And I'm in one of my happy places. One of the happy places that Pam and I shared, that being a golf course. Lots of great memories we had on golf courses, as well as other things like hiking trails, travel in general, boating, fishing, all really good memories. Now, the title of the program today was Always On My Mind. And how many of you remember, I believe it was Willie Nelson that did that song, You're Always On My Mind. And indeed, Pam is always on my mind. And the reason I'm doing this program is because I had a young widower actually write us and say, could you do a program about always thinking about the one you lost? And I think the implication was, is it normal to always be thinking of your loved one? Well, I'm going to tell you, just from personal experience, this will just be me. It may be different for you. But Pam and I were together since high school. Think about that. Over 30 years together. Over 30 years of waking up together, going to sleep together, sharing meals together, doing all those activities I talked about together. So yeah, she's always on my mind. Now I'm not gonna say she's on my mind 24 seven, every second, every minute of the day. Now, in the early stages of my grief, yeah, there were days it seemed like I could not escape it. And then there were also those days where I had the not so pleasant memories of her as her little body was giving in to the cancer in her bones. And I was watching her deteriorate through right in front of me. And that used to be a heavy set of memories that stayed with me. But over time, those memories faded and were then taken over by the good memories, the fun memories, all those good times we had, like here on a golf course like this. So yeah, she's still always on my mind. And that's not a bad thing, at least in my opinion. Now I once did run into a younger widower who'd lost his wife who said the first thing he did was I took down every picture of her in the house, got rid of everything she had. I wanted no reminders of her. He said it wasn't that I didn't love her, I just didn't want to be reminded that she wasn't here anymore. Well, that might work for one or two of you out there, but I don't think that's the best way to handle it, in my humble opinion. I have pictures of Pam all around the house. I have family pictures of us and our kids. I've got picture books on the coffee table. She's on my screensaver, sitting on our Boston Whaler boat. So when I sign on my computer for work, there she is to greet me. I've got a picture of she and I on a big television poster. It was a promotion that a TV station did with us. We're walking on a trail in Oregon, and it's a promotional piece, and that is framed and on the wall in front of my desk. But you know, I don't get sad when I look at those things. I mean, yeah, I'm sad that she's not here anymore, but those images also make me happy and remind me of how blessed I was. So I guess what I'm saying is, don't fight the fact that you may be wanting to think about your loved one all the time. Now in the early stages, it's going to be hard. Sometimes it's going to be extremely emotional. It's going to make you cry. But over time, I do believe those memories will get better and better. And the images will still be strong. Someone once asked me, do I dream about Pam? I do from time to time. Not a lot, but I do from time to time, and I cherish when I have those dreams. Have you had any dreams of your loved one? If you have it, don't give up. It'll happen eventually. For me, it was a while. Didn't happen right off the bat. It's different for everyone, and I know we say that all the time, but grief is different for everyone. Now, we all have some similarities, though, and that's why I do this program, and I hear from a lot of you that go, oh yeah, I thought that. I've heard that. Yeah, I get what you're saying. And that's where we get comfort in sharing those stories with one another. Now, I've also talked about how grief is always going to be with you, 
to some degree. And I'm going to tell you an old story, and you've heard it before. For those of you that have heard it, you'll tune out and go, oh boy, he tells this one every time. But it is so applicable to what we're talking about here in terms of memories. It's like the pro football player told me about his knee injury. He says he was injured on the field, ripped his knee apart. He had to have surgery. He had to go through rehab. Eventually, he got well enough that he was back on the playing field and playing football. But he said, you know what? I never forgot the pain of that injury. He said, I never forgot that injury. It was always there, but I got back on the playing field. Point being, we're not going to forget our grief, nor should we forget our grief. That will always be a part of us. But we learn to get back on the playing field of life. That's what we have to do. Now, that's what I'm doing now. I'm in Arizona now. People are going, oh gosh, I can't believe he moved again. Well, yeah, I did. And I've already done a podcast on that. At the moment, I'm probably as happy as I've been since Pam went to heaven. Now again, though, the memories are strong. We spend a lot of time here. A lot of places I go. I see her around the corner. I see us around the corner. I see us walking these fairways. I see us on the hiking trails. But those are good memories. They're really, really good memories. So this was going to be a short message, and I think I have kept it short. Don't fight the memories. Don't fight the tears either. I know, sometimes they'll make you cry, and we've said this too. You'll feel better after you do it, just trust me. And also maybe look at it from the reverse angle. Be thankful that you have good memories. Be thankful for the time you had whether or not it was only six months or a year, or in my case, over 30 years, or in some people's cases, they had over 60 years. Wouldn't you rather have had that time and those memories and those images than to have never had them before? I think there's a famous poet or somebody who said, it's better to have loved than to have never loved. And yes, I'm so thankful that I did love and I had a great love and I will love her forever and always. I say that all the time. Pam is still my heavenly wife. So take care, everyone. Keep listening to our podcast and keep subscribing to our YouTube channel, Traveling with Jack and Pam. And like I always say, make it a great day. Better yet, make it a better tomorrow. And bye now from what is a beautiful memory for me here on a golf course in Arizona.